going to install a automatic shutdown pressure sensor in the Iron Man portable air compressor. This is actually is the same mo same thing that you guys can see online Smitty belt. So it's a very powerful, it's a very nice compressor, and I think everybody must buy this one. Have a good price. It's made by Iron Man, but Smitty belt is the same thing. First thing what I did to accomplish the space, I removed this uh, uh, tray. It comes with a vibration tray that controls the vibration. The tray have these legs. I removed these from here and those legs I put it here. So I was able to put it on the floor straight forward and storage um, in a small space easily. And I tested it out and it's not that much vibrate, but actually the tray came with protection and uh, vibrations control. So I think vibration is pretty, um, um, vibration control legs are. First thing first, we will open this. It's Australian brand or Japanese brand size is a M2. So now we will going to open this one. You need 14 millimeter to uh, this branch open it i already loosed it so we're gonna remove this one uh, we're gonna remove this one to access this panel easy busy now i will unscrew this one this come with the n and key see over here so let's remove that one you need some sort of this one this thing to open this and it's a timely process open this will detach the handle and we will open the bottom one to remove this old plastic piece one it will come out this thing came out this thing this thing put it on the side and here you go and this is a lex put on the side make sure not to lose anything it's the same thing like a smitty belt so there's a power button we have to find the power button the power button wire is going inside and i think this is the black one we have to cut it so the cable that going inside to the compressor this is what we have to the smallest cable going inside into the compressor that's the cable we have it and i got some cable actually 10 gauge cable uh, here's the 10 gauge so i think according to this one is pretty tiny and this is pretty big so this is all i have you can use 15 gauge or 20 gauge cable
out of after sorting both of side equally cut them right and this is a heat shrink tubing or you can use a tape as well and you can use heat gun if you have if not it's not a big deal you can use lighter or something like this Not too close, not too far. Done. Right. Open these two. One is enough. Take this port cable and them out. There's a much space here. One and the second one is well. Right. Like that. And then I will close this one. All right, I screw now them. I screw tight all of these, and uh, this cable coming out from from the other side where the all cables coming. All right, so I will move it like up here, and this will go here. So I got this from Amazon. I will leave the link below, and this is M2. This size is not one over four. N A N A T or N A P is with this white uh, seal sealer it actually fits pretty cool so I don't need to change the hose on the other side but I got the adapter on Amazon it's cost me twelve thirteen dollar plus six dollar shipping so this will go over here and it will change from M two size to 1 over 4 US uh, standard this is Australian standard Australian or Japanese standard on the top I think that's enough this thing put a clip this I already have done this thing right let's screw them up come on that's the only one there you go pressure switch connector and hook it up over here like that and I hope it's not gonna yeah it's not hitting the floor Let's see yep it's good 
All right, I twisted the cable. All right, I'm putting this heat shrinker. So it will look cool. Here we go. That's enough. Finally, I have to remove the factory one that it came is a Australian or Japanese version and the P and I have to put it the American one one over four American one and for that I have to add this you um, on the hose I have to remove that one and I put it this one so I just go like that right Close it. 